Dr. Batra, I have another shower gate debate of my own. Sure. <laughs> I want to run this by you. Which okay. one do you recommend or prefer, bar or mm -hmm. liquid soap? So in general, I actually prefer liquid soap, which I know many people disagree with. And the reason is that bar soaps generally, especially older ones, tend to have really harsh surfactants. And so when they lather up, they're actually stripping that lipid barrier of your skin. They can be really drying. So I'm a big fan, liquid soap, gentle, scent-free, dye-free. How about you guys? What do you think? Where bar do you guy. On the liquid I, versus bar. Bar. I think the thing with bar soap is remember, even though it's so satisfying to get that lather, we do know that that surfactant is stripping the outer lipid barrier okay. of your skin. Some of the newer bar soaps, actually, that's not the case, and they're a little bit more well, gentle. Dr. Batra, I, I'm going to take your advice. I'm not going to st strip away that surfactant. I know how, I know <laughs> how important that is. So let's dig a little bit deeper into some um, shower habits. So first, let's talk about loofahs and washcloths. So, Dr. B, what's your read on loofahs and washcloths? So those are called physical exfoliants. They help slough that dry, dull outer layer of the skin. But with anything physical like that, less is more. No more than two or three times a week because you don't want to introduce little tears or fissures in your skin. And yeast and bacteria love a moist, warm environment. So as they're hanging in your shower, just be mindful that if they start to stain or they start to smell, then toss them. It's it's done. It's, it's over. Nothing worse than a loofah in the shower that smells like sour milk. Uh, so you just get in there and just rub that all over your body to add to the day's <laughs> fun. Because that's maybe, productive. Maybe you're on to something there. Well, the next thing we want to discuss is shower length. Long showers can rob your skin of its necessary oils and moistures and can dry you out. So uh, I think in general, rule of thumb, you should limit those showers probably no longer than, than 10 minutes. And that's max. And guess what? You don't want to waste all that water. The planet uh, H2O is, is a very precious commodity. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's be mindful of that. Finally, shower temperature. So temperature extremes, whether too cold or too hot, can also not be so good. They can cause skin irritation, inflammation. So, Dr. Nita, what is your solution there? I mean, just use some lukewarm water. Common you know? sense. Lukewarm water. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's sort of counterintuitive to a lot of people that really hot water is actually quite dehydrating. So especially people with dry skin or eczema should be keeping it cooler and not too hot, like you, not too long, like you said.